Hey everybody, welcome to ADS TV. We're still on day two at AUSA. We're here with Air Environment AV, and we've got David. Hey David, how you doing? How are you, Todd? Great. Good. So this is a new partnership that is developed over the past few months with ADS and Air Environment AV. Um, we've had a lot of success with it, but you guys have been in the industry and kind of an industry leader for a few years now. And um, let's talk about the Puma and the success you all have had with it and what you have new you want to talk about today. Oh, great. Uh, well, Puma is a uh, small UAV hand launched. Right here, right? There's a nice picture of it right here. Yep. It's uh, very unique in this kind of category because it's all environment. It can fly and fight in really any climb, any domain, from uh, high, dry, cold to uh, wet, even, okay. in, uh, even in maritime environments, put it in the ocean or, uh, or a river for recovery, so that's very unique. One of the nice features it has, it has a very fully stabilized uh, day and night uh, EOIR gimbal. Uh, and great station keeping time. Our Pumas which are in the field today, uh, several thousand of them, a lot with Army and Marine Corps and Special Forces. About two hour mission birds right today. Right. Today we're going to be rolling out some up upgrades to that that allow them to enhance that mission performance, uh, improve its reliability, and uh, also add some special mission capabilities uh, as an expansion of its current uh, you know, visual spectrum assessment. So the, the, the thing we talked about prior to the interview is that you're not just replacing the whole bird. I mean, this is an upgrade kit. So it can, you can use the existing hardware that's already out in the field and then they can upgrade it in the field and then they also have to send it back for some software upgrades. Can you explain that? Yeah, bit? well one of the watchwords our company's used is uh, backwards compatibility okay. through our entire product line. Uh, and as we roll out uh, upgrades or enhancements, we don't want to uh, make the current fleet obsolete. Right. And Because there's a lot of investment out there, there's a lot of a training that carries over. So what we want to do is enhance roll out improvements without uh, pushing uh, their current stock out. And the cost, I mean, these are big costs. Absolutely, and very cost sensitive customers, and we're very, very cl uh, closely aligned with our, uh, our users out there in the field. Okay. So the improvements that we're rolling out with this uh, block upgrade are, are in response to feedback and the mission sets that you've seen. Uh, and technology's advanced too, I'm sure you guys are. Uh, absolutely, the Puma's been out for a few years um, in the fight. Uh, so we get a lot of good feedback for operational usage, but also to say, well, can I do this with this now? Can I do this with this? So we've been investing and working with other industry partners and uh, defense labs to bring in some emergent technologies. Uh, anything we can do to improve uh, something like battery performance. We've worked hard with that. We've qualified a battery, which gives us a 75% improvement. Key thing is I've got uh, additional mission time on the wing. Um, it allows me to do some things. I could trade off some mission time for some additional weight bearing capacity okay. of additional mission payloads. Well, currently, uh, the gimbal is its primary payload bay. Okay. Uh, we've also got space in its aft avionics bay for some other special mission payloads that are into like the RF, uh, you know, the radio frequency domain of sniffers, right. uh, tracking and assessing and collecting information. And one of the nice things we've done is we look to expand the, the the payload capacity by adding a, a payload uh, transition bay locks in on top of the, the body and under the wing so I've got a workspace where I provide power, signal for control and also GPS uh, signal too. Wow. So that allows me to do things like a comms relay payload for uh, you know, legacy radios or advanced radios that uh, they're rolling out. Uh, RF geolocation payloads. Where are you using that radio, so and what are you doing? Customized basically for any type um, of mission. Absolutely, division. that's the whole the whole point. So, uh, AV, y'all make a wide range of um, UAVs, correct? Yes. Uh, I mean, this isn't the only. Product. No, they're tailored to the mission needs. Okay. Uh, Puma's a kind of the big boy on the small UAV scale. It's about right. 13 pounds, uh, hand launch still. When I go to a um, a heavier payload, if I added extra weight, I might need some extra lift capacity. Um, well, a couple things we've done is we've improved the propulsion on this. So I've got more thrust for uh, takeoff. I actually added a, a, a larger prop so I can launch in these high, uh, high atmospheres up in like an upper reaches of Afghanistan with right. more, more assurance. The altitude's higher. Right. Uh, so we yeah, rolled out a tactical launcher, like a rail launcher, that can uh, add that as well as an option. So if um 
the customer has a Puma already and they want to get the upgrades, can they uh, reach the ADS rep and, and they'll be able to take care of them? Yeah, we'll be able to do that. As we've rolled this out, we'll go through a, we'll go through a testing regime, get the uh, seal of approval from our, uh, our uh, military users. Right. And uh, what's and nice is because be they're backwards compatible, they can roll in piece parts, like an improved motor and motor controller. As it gets uh, approved. Use up their old fuselages and roll in new one. Uh, we've, in, we've included a, uh, a pigment in the layup rather than a spray coating, and it actually cuts out cost and it cuts out weight. Right. Uh, that, that fuselage is consumable. All the components which are in the bays of the, the Puma are so transferable into a new you one. you can just push it over. Yep. We're good. Uh, so all these things are in you know, cost savings and efficiencies and you know, that, uh, that commitment to quality to the users in the field. Great. Well, we appreciate the partnership. All right. We want to thank you for doing the interview today. Thank you, ADS.